This is a Finnish Defense Forces 24 hour combat ration. It weighs only 2 pounds 13 ounces, yet it contains 4,131 calories. With freeze dried main courses and a high calorie content, this ration is perfect for cold climate operations. So let's give it a look. Okay, so right off the bat, got a content sheet. Then some chicken flavored pasta. Some curry, yellow curry rice. Looks like something may have burst in this pack. I think it might have been a pack of sugar. Some apple cinnamon porridge. Pack of tissues. A sports drink, citrus flavor. Banana peach chocolate protein bar. You get three plastic spoons. Cocoa beverage powder. And these are some kind of crisp bread. Maybe like a, a rye crisp bread, I'm guessing. A vacuum sealed pack of honey roasted peanuts. Two more sports drinks. Both cola flavor. That's different. And another citrus sports drink. Yeah, everything is coated in a light sheen of powdery something. Yeah, I think it's sugar. Got a 50 gram dark chocolate bar. Feels like it may have melted and reformed a little bit. Two tea bags. Four hand sanitizer wipes. And then two tubes of pate, it looks like. And at the bottom here, Nescafe Gold. And two packs of chewing gum, four packs of creamer, and two packs of sugar. Okay, so there's everything laid out. So let's first start off with breakfast. You know what they always say, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So apple cinnamon porridge, some Nescafe gold to go along with that cocoa beverage powder, an 85 gram pack of crisp bread, citrus flavored sports drink. All right, so let's get this out onto a tray. Nice, okay, so we're first start off by rehydrating that apple cinnamon porridge. Man, that's... That has a really strong apple cinnamon smell to it. It's tart. It just makes my mouth water just smelling it. And while that's doing its thing, Check out that coffee and cocoa beverage powder. That's a rich cocoa smell. You know, that right there almost smells good enough to have on its own, but... That looks like a light roast right there, freeze-dried. Oh yeah, the sports drink. This smells like paper, like bleached paper, with a slight citrus undertone to it.
All right, so now this has 10 minutes. We're about four, maybe five minutes in. Gives us enough time to check out this, what I'm thinking might be some kind of rye crisp bread. Wow, that has a nice whole grain smell to it. Look at those. Now that is a really interesting whole grain hard crisp bread. A little bit broken up. Like this piece here, I, I gotta try that out. It tastes like a combination of whole wheat, bran, and a little bit of rye. Now this, this here, those, like, I'm gonna put over here. That's kind of messy. Yeah, that one broke up. Took the brunt of shipping, I believe. It'd be nice for, I don't know, nice for something. And then the pate in a tube. It's very, like, it's like white. Is that cheese? Hold on. No, that's pate. And tastes like a rich, savory, looking pretty spreadable pate. Look at that. Oh, that's fascinating right there. You know, this is this is really something else. I just want to dig right in. There we go. I gotta try out some of this crisp bread with pate. That is the perfect combination. Right away I noticed how light and airy both the pate and that whole grain, whole wheat crisp bread is. Perfect for breakfast, it's not heavy. A savory, moderately salty, very flavorful pate. Oh wow, that's top notch. You could eat these on the go. And with the tube of pate, that's, that's user friendly. I think this still has a little bit of rehydrating left to go. Feels like a little bit of water still settled at the top. Even though it's so crispy, crunchy and whatnot, it's not hard on your teeth. And that's really a plus. Here, gotta follow it up with army mochaccino. We'll see how it is without creamer or anything else. Whoa, that's... The coffee itself, you add two packs to a, I would estimate that was like nine or 10 ounces in this cup. It's perfect. The coffee itself, it's light. That right there, it's not bitter at all. The cocoa, it's rich, but it's not creamy. You could add the creamer to it and it would lighten it up and add that, you know, more familiar Americanized kind of hot chocolate where it's, you know, like Swiss Miss and whatnot. It's really creamy and sweet. This is not overly sweet as a relatively high cocoa content. That's some more crisp bread. This, magnificent. The pate, it's not metallic, it's just very whipped and fine. I give you 100 grams of pate, that's, that's generous. I'm gonna end up finishing this, I can't help it. The hot chocolate itself, a lot of people would say it's watery on its own. If they tried it, they would probably want to add the creamer, but I'm saving the creamer for the tea. There's your cocoa powder and a little bit granular in appearance, but the texture going down, it wasn't. All right, so let's check out that citrus sports drink. Not too much food coloring. It has sucralose, but that's not the worst thing in the world. Not overly sweet, kind of a lemon lime. Now it's time to check out the Apple cinnamon porridge. A little bit lumpy. Here, let's get this away from it. Oh wow. That doesn't mix very well. And it's not too bad. It doesn't look too good either. Let's try out a bite of this. Oh wow. 
that's bland. I mean, a very slight actual undertone of apple and cinnamon. The way it smelled was like intense. You could spackle a brick house with this. I mean, really, the way the texture is, it sticks to the roof of your mouth. I think I'm good on the porridge. It's just not doing anything for me. Absolutely the best part of breakfast right here. Finish this up. Then later on today, I'm going to take it over to lunch. Okay, and we're back with lunch. Our main course is going to be chicken flavored pasta. Then a banana peach chocolate protein bar some honey roasted peanuts, a cola flavored sports drink, and then some tea. All right, so let's get this out onto a tray. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna first start off by rehydrating that pasta. It has a nice herbal kind of smell to it. I smell garlic and curry, like a yellow curry right off the bat. We'll add more water as needed, but that right there, that's probably going to be enough. I don't want it being too much of a soup vest like that last one. Now let's go for that tea. Let this steep up. And this sports drink, cola flavor. Oof, that smells like cola and some kind of dish detergent. So then, these peanuts. Was there a hiss? I couldn't quite tell. I opened it too fast. Oh yeah, look at those. So then the Banana peach chocolate protein bar. Oh, that's odd. A chalky soy protein base with a somewhat overpowering artificial peach flavor with a pretty nice chocolate coating, but it's sucralose and malitol, you know, as a sweetener. Oh, wow. You know, that's making my gums feel like inflamed, like almost as if I'm allergic to something in that. Ugh. Oh, let me try that again. I don't know why, because I'm hungry, but that is not a normal protein bar. It's not very sweet, even though it's filled with sweeteners. I'm not sure if the peach and banana is a natural or artificial flavor. It tastes artificial. It's not that great. You got to get your protein, but that's unpleasant. I want to follow it up with some cola sports drink. What I like about this, it's not too much food coloring. You know, it could be like really dark with an artificial caramel kind of deal. And they didn't do that, which is a plus. And that tastes like flat Coca-Cola with electrolytes and sweetener. Like a really flat Diet Coke. That's interesting. I'll give it that. Check out these peanuts. Mmm. The, the outer little fried shellac part, that makes it. It's like having fried peanuts with a well-roasted peanut in the center. Slightly sweet. You can't taste much honey, quite frankly. If it didn't say honey on the outside, 
I'd hardly know. It was still quite good. So let's check out this tea. Two creamers and one sugar. That's strong tea. I'm glad I threw two creamers in there. That's perfect. Some bold English breakfast tea. They actually, it's not weak. Perfect for eight to 10 ounces. Wow, the hydration really brought that back to life. It, it does, it has a, a fantastic, like yellow curry and garlic. Very creamy and rich smelling. Look at that. Kind of soupy. Not bad. So that's lunch. Flavor is great. The pasta didn't fully rehydrate. I let it sit for 20 minutes, but let's see here. It's very creamy and somewhat sweet. Oh wow, yeah, there are chives. I thought I tasted that. Nice. It's chicken flavored, but so you see these little bits in there, it kind of looks like chicken. That's soy, which Soy protein bar, soy pasta, this ration, it's almost vegetarian. Outside of that pate, the only off-putting aspect of this is the, the pasta that doesn't fully rehydrate. It's pretty crunchy. If you let it hydrate for like 25 minutes, it'd be like 22 to 25 minutes, it'd be perfect. They say 15. It's minimum 20. Followed up with some tea. I don't like the cola. The tea though, that's a bold English breakfast tea. It's very flavorful and adding two creamers and one sugar, you'd think it'd really kind of take away from that. It doesn't, it's, that's perfect. Back to this though. Oh, here's a bite with a bunch of that soy protein. A textured soy protein that it's like mock shredded or pulverized chicken. Let's check out one of these hand sanitizer wipes. You get four of them. They feel almost dry. They're not very moist. They don't smell like anything. And they're very weak. Well, they give you a pretty substandard moist towelettes. It's benzoconium chloride. That's that's no scent. I always like alcohol wipes more, but benzoconium chloride is still an antiseptic and it does its thing. So that was a little bit of a mixed bag for lunch as well. I'm gonna pass on the rest of this cola drink and protein bar. This thing was just not my thing. But the rest of it, not bad. In about three or four hours, I'm going to take it over to dinner. And now to finish off with dinner, our main course is going to be that yellow curry rice. And for dessert, a dark chocolate bar, some more of that citrus flavor sports drink, and another tea, then to cleanse the old palate with some fresh mint chewing gum. All right, so let's get this out onto a tray. Nice. Okay, so we're going to first start by rehydrating that curry rice. That's just a, another strong yellow curry smell. I think it has chives again. Slightly redundant in the comparison to, say, lunch. Two very similar dishes.
and that T. Citrus flavored sports drink. Alright, so then the dark chocolate bar. So it melted and has that teeny bit of fat separation or bloom at the corner, but that is some nice looking dark chocolate right there. I gotta take a bite of this real quick. It's rich dark chocolate. Good quality, but a little bit waxy, which is great for being in a ration. Even though it was slightly melted the corner there, it's still pretty heat resistant. Those tubes of pate and the crisp bread and that mochaccino blend, that's what makes this ration worth finding. Other than that, so far it's kind of a novelty. Things like this citrus sports drink, it's questionable. Still, it's far better than the cola. That cola beverage base, I'm never gonna drink that again. I can't imagine anybody liking it. So then the yellow curry rice. Ooh. That looks like it hydrated a lot better than the, the pasta. Big old pile of rice right there. Wow, that, that tastes virtually the same is the last dish. It's just with the yellow rice instead of pasta. We rehydrated more efficiently. Tastes strong of yellow curry and chives. Maybe a little bit less sweet. Equally as savory and I'd have to say there's probably not enough sodium content to it. It's a little bit underwhelming. I think it would have been nice if one of these main courses had like some shredded white meat chicken or like cubed chicken or something because both being yellow curry with a relatively strong overtone of chives it's just it's kind of boring I came into this one hungry and I have a feeling I'm not gonna end up finishing this main the rice rehydrated well and it is well seasoned, but I feel like there needed to be something different between the two menus. Maybe like a beef stroganoff and then like a yellow curry chicken with rice. That would have been better, I feel like. Give a little variation. For a ration, you want to make something that's so palatable, so good, that the soldier finishes their food. You don't want to leave half of a portion behind because things got so redundant they they got sick of eating it and the, the sodium content is somewhat low and that's because it's a cold climate ration that tea's awesome so like a soldier isn't getting dehydrated with this very high protein high sodium ration you know requiring more water to assimilate and process the entire thing but the soy i don't get it I mean, you're getting meat pate. So then the fresh mint gum. 100% xylitol. Cool. Oh wow, it smells like peppermint candy canes. That is some fantastic gum. It's a little bit firm, like when you bite into it, but 
The flavor is great. It's not overpowering. So this was a Finnish Defense Forces 24-hour combat ration. Not a bad ration, but also not one of the best either. Well, anyway, this is Steve1989. I hope you liked the video. I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. Alright, cool.